Malloy today, with Bill Kennedy, the clerk of the course, and uh, Mick Coggan, a director, in the Armley uh, Road Racing Motorcycle Club. It's that time of the year again, but lots of things happening. Yes, indeed, Kevin. Hard to believe that another year's come round, and all the work we've done, and now we're just starting to see the whole thing falling into place. And uh, delighted to say that uh, we have got a terrific entry for the the motorcycle road race itself. Where I'm looking forward to the Friday practice and Saturday and Friday afternoon race, and then all day on Saturday. So, fingers crossed, we get good weather this year, and I got a good crowd to come out and support us. We have got everything else in place with the riders is coming, the sponsors has, has helped us out again and all we need now is for the uh, spectators and the fans to come along and show us their support. I assume we have some interesting names to look out for uh, and, the, and, and the various races on Saturday. Well, you know, I always, always have said, and it's been a record in the past, that Armoy has always thrown up different riders. And I can remember a few years back, uh, you know, Adam Lyon, who was a young up-and-coming Scottish rider, come over and, and uh, broke the mould of Joe Lachlan and won the, uh, the, the only person to beat Joe that whole year in the senior support race. There we have got... Uh, a fella from England, he's been lapping the Isle of Man well over 130 miles an hour. Uh, Sam West, Sam's making his debut this year in Armoy. We're looking forward to seeing how he goes. And then obviously we, uh, we've got Derek McGee coming back from injury. He'll be here along with Derek Shields and the Burroughs bike. Michael Sweeney, we've got Paul Jordan. And uh, you know, the list just goes on and on. Yes, and of course Armoy is, is a home to all the big famous names and probably the home of road racing uh, in Ireland and across the world. So that's very significant for you, this race. Well, as you know, and, and we're, we're marking the, the, the death of and passing of my brother Frank, who was killed in the North West uh, in 1979, so that's 40 years ago, and we're having a special classic race and classic races for him this year, so that's interesting. But in general, you know, that the, the riders do seem to always want to come and race our own way. It must be because of the, you know, the history of the place and, and, and what, it all, what it means to so many riders from all of the various different parts of the world. And, and while they keep coming, we'll keep welcoming them. Yeah, great stuff. And it certainly went down very well since you started it. Uh, Mike, there's a full week, uh, basically, of uh, events. <coughs> So talk us through the variety of events, what they're at, what they are, and and, and what we can expect. Right. Well, Kevin, uh, we start on uh, Saturday with this truck run here that we've organised first time last year. This is our second year on it. Uh, some of the local fellas here, this fella behind us, when the car run was going, they would have tagged on the end of it, and we felt that they were being deprived maybe of something. So we'd started and organised this truck run on the Saturday for them. Uh, last year we took almost 60 trucks down into Ballycastle and back up and around the course and very, very successful. So hopefully this year uh, it'll be an add on and we could hopefully maybe hit uh, 80, 100 trucks this year. That takes the, uh, the Saturday morning by. On Sunday uh, we're on a very successful uh, motorcycle ride out uh, every year for the last uh, 11 years. Uh, Sometimes somewhere between 100 and 150 motorcyclists comes in to uh, the village on Sunday morning for uh, the annual ride out uh, and back home in the evening then for a barbecue and all in the evening. On Saturday, Sunday night we then run um, a church service, uh, interdenominational service out in the, the lag uh, church out there and we hope that we get a good support for it, we normally do. Um, Monday is a free day, free night, we're trying to just finalise bits and pieces on the course. Uh, it's Tuesday starts with the uh, Dunloy Cycle Club coming to us. Uh, they've been coming for a few years now uh, to do a cycle ride round and round the course, uh, a timed cycle ride. That, after that, on the Wednesday, we get um, all the vintage classic cars from uh, the Bala Money Club uh, does that, the Old Baker Club does that for us, uh, and they bring somewhere between 100 and 150 cars out on the uh, the Wednesday night to us. Uh, on Thursday, uh, all the old classic vintage bikes arrive uh, in the village uh, here for uh, the evening, and we do two laps of the course with them boys, and that has been very, very popular. Some very old, some very valuable, uh, some very real, real classic vintage motorcyclists, and uh, the spectator seems to enjoy it, and it puts a lot of enthusiasm into the village for that week. Uh, the whole festival, it's a festival, so it's a festival week for us. We've built it up into that week and hopefully that will uh, 
if the weather permitting and we get a good uh, good weather the crowds comes out and supports it regardless but on a, on a dry night uh, we get a, a lot more people out to it and let's hope we, we get that Kevin. Okay so that's it all kicks off then this Saturday yeah. um, and it's a full week of entertainment in RMI so all we can say is RMI is the place to be uh, yes. for next from this week. weekend mm -hmm. right through the whole week until the actual race is next weekend so good luck guys have a good uh, week I hope it all goes well for you. Thank you very much. Thanks very much Jim.